Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another art journal video. I have my new Dilutions journal here. It's always a, a nice feeling to start a brand new uh, all empty art journal. And the pages are great. They take paint and all the other mediums greatly. I will start applying a little bit of gesso wash on the pages because I'm going to use paint today. And first, to have some interest at the background, I'm going to use this uh, script stamp and stamp it with Versamark ink because I will emboss it with clear embossing powder. This is a technique that I like to use a lot because it allows you to apply gelatos, paints, inks, other mediums on top and then it leaves you with a beautiful background because of the clear embossing. I'm going to use Prima metallic acrylic paints on the page. As you can see, I already did a little bit trial on the right side of the page before I started. This color is rich turquoise. I really like it. It's a new toy for me. It's the first time I'm using it, but it's really lovely. And it has a really nice metallic shine to it. And because the color was really rich, uh, I decided to use a little bit water to dilute it and make it a little bit more translucent. I'm using a wet wipe here uh, to lift the color from the page a little bit so that the background texture comes through. That's why I actually used gesso as well because I knew I wanted to remove a little bit paint. And I will do some blending to make it more interesting with a darker color. I'm using emerald green here. I just love the color as soon as I open the jar. It just looks amazing. Again, I'm using a bit of water to dilute the color. And later I decided to use wet wipe as well to blend the color with the existing one uh, at the background. Uh, it was easier. I hope you can catch the shine. Uh, it's looking really nice. I will do paper piecing on the background as focal points, so I will do some die cutting now. This has a fall theme, so I'm using a Tim Holtz dies. This is by Sizzix and there are 14 different uh, leaves and branches in the pack. I really like this die a lot because uh, it has a lot of variations of leaves in it and you can use it over and over again. I will use a watercolor cardstock to do the die cutting because later I will use distress inks with water to color the leaves. I'm placing all the leaves that I see in the pack on this cardstock and I will die cut them all at once. I did this process uh, I think four times uh, because I wanted to have a lot of leaves and here they are. So now it's time for coloring them. I really like this method uh, that I use for coloring. It's so easy and it's so much fun. I will use lots of colors of Distress inks. I'm choosing uh, tones of browns, uh, oranges, yellows, reds and greens. I will list all the colors that I use down below at the description area so you can see them. I'm applying each of them a little bit on my craft mat, then I am spraying water and I am dipping my leaves in this uh, color blend and voila! I add different colors as I go and each time when I uh, dip my leaf into this uh, color blend it comes with a different color and that's what I like a lot about it. It's a surprise when you lift the leaf and see a blend of nice colors. I won't bore you with all my leaf coloring. It took some time. So here are the branches as well. I used yellows, oranges and browns for them too with the same method. So now it's time to place them on my journal. 
I want to have this pile of leaves like they are lying on the ground so I'm placing them on top of each other Then I will stick them randomly with my gel medium on the page. And here they are. I also wanted to have a broom uh, on the leaves like it's uh, sweeping all the leaves so I'm going to draw a simple one you really don't need to have any drawing skills to draw this as I don't have actually uh, so I'm trying my best to do a simple one I'm going to cut it and then delete uh, all these uh, lines on it. Then I will color it really simply with uh, distress inks, just coloring over it. I will use this little stamp by Prima that has a wood grain texture to stamp this uh, on the body of the broom so it looks like a real one. <laughs> I'm using Grand Espresso Distress Ink again. Then I am cutting it like a broom and I will color the bottom of it with a fossilized ember. To give a bit of shading, uh, I'm using frayed burlap, distress ink again. So I'm going to stick it like this, as if it's sweeping over the leaves. And uh, you will see, I'm using a gel medium, but you will see I'm actually not sticking the bottom of it because I want it to look a little bit free. Now it's time to stick the branches as if uh, it's coming from the top, uh, from a tree. I'm not worried about the shading, uh, I will do it later with my uh, pit brush pens uh, by Faber-Castell. Then I'm sticking the little leaves that uh, I die-cutted from the same uh, same set uh, but I didn't use them at the bottom on the branches it feels like proper uh, autumn now now I'm using these uh, mica flakes by Prima I have this set that has little jars of different colors of flakes. For this one I'm going to use the gold color and the copper color. I will just spread a little bit uh, on my page on the floor to give a little bit shine and I will stick them with my gel medium um, as you see. For my sentiment I'm going to have a sign that's hanging down the branches that says welcome fall. I cut this shape myself randomly then I used distress ink vintage photo to color it and I'm using Avriel alphabet stamps to stamp my sentiment with uh, Versa marking. I will gold emboss the sentiment 
But afterwards, you will realize that I wasn't happy with this uh, gold embossing because it kind of got lost in the journal and uh, it was uh, hard to read, hard to realize. So you will see later that I will change it with another color. Now cutting uh, the excess of the leaves uh, going over the page. I'm going to use these hemp cord uh, strings, uh, one of the colors here, to hang my sign. I'm using my crocodile to create some holes and then I'm going to stick the cord behind the sign and then uh, I'm going to stick it on the branch like it's hanging down from there with my gel medium. I'm using double-sided tape to stick the cord behind the sign. Uh, this way it will also stick to the page. Lastly, I'm going to do some splashes with gold distress in paint uh, because uh, there is gold mica flakes on the page and I want to bind uh, it together. Also, I'm going to do some shading on the branches and the broom. Uh, I'm using my uh, Faber-Castell pit brush. And because I use gel medium on the branches, it's very easy to do the shading. It will move because it's a non-porous surface now. And here is the page, how it looks uh, with the gold flakes and everything. But we are not finished yet. Uh, the next day, uh, when I uh, saw the page, I wasn't happy with design, as I told you. So now I cut the same shape uh, and I decided to stamp with a darker color, the sentiment. So I'm using aged mahogany uh, by uh, Distress again. And this time I'm going to clear emboss the whole sign because then it will give it a very nice texture, raise it a little bit and make it uh, very crisp. So I replaced the sign with the new one and here is how it looks now. I'm really happy. It's very legible uh, and it uh, goes with the page uh, colors. And you see how the background has a shine to it as well with the metallic paints that I used. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can see the close-up pictures uh, at the end. Uh, if you like it, please don't forget to subscribe or hit the like button down below. You can find all the supplies that I used at the description area as well. Hope to see you next time.